Hey guys, I'm Venomous, and welcome to Explore XR, where I talk about the intersection of AI, spatial computing, and by extension, VTubing. One of the standout features of Quest 3 is its mixed reality mode, and with it has come a ton of creativity around use cases for it, like making washing dishes more interesting, or improving your cooking skills, or even enhancing your next visit to your local coffee shop. And some folks are enjoying using 2D applications and games while being able to take in the physical environment around them. So it got me thinking, can you get Fortnite working within a Quest 3? Let's find out. Before we begin the installation process, there's a couple of things that we'll need. First is installing SideQuest on your PC and making sure that your Quest is able to connect to SideQuest. Unfortunately, a PC is required for this particular process to work. If you're not familiar with it, SideQuest is a utility that allows you to unlock advanced features of your Quest headsets and is host to a large library of games and apps. If you own a Quest, SideQuest is a must have, so make sure you're able to get that working before continuing. There are fantastic instructions on the SideQuest website on how to get all that working, so why recreate the wheel? Please refer to the description of this video for a link to instructions. The Quest operating system is based on Android. So next, we'll need the Fortnite Android APK and Google Chrome APK. The reason you need Chrome installed is because logging on doesn't work without it. I'm not sure if the issue is the Quest browser not passing the authentication token to Fortnite, or if it's Fortnite that is hard-coded to use Google Chrome. Um, I don't know how legal it is to download APK files, but I am including a link to a resource that I use in the description below. If I have to remove the link for whatever reason, they're easy to find if you do a little bit of Googling. So just be careful that you're pulling them down from a trusted source. Now we get to the installation. Open SideQuest and make sure you have the little green circle on the top left of the window indicating that your Quest is connected. Then click the icon on the top right of the window that looks like a box with an arrow pointing down. This is the APK installer. Navigate to where you downloaded Fortnite in Chrome. It doesn't matter the order in which you do this, just select an APK and install. Do this for each. Now we need to disable developer mode on your Quest. So launch the MetaQuest app on your phone, select your Quest, go to headset settings, developer mode and disable debug mode. If you don't do this, matchmaking will not work at all. Next, go ahead and put on your quest and open your app library. Change your filter dropdown to unknown sources and open Chrome. If you're prompted to make Chrome your default browser, do it. Chrome must be set as your default browser in order to log in to Fortnite properly. If you're not prompted to do this, restart your quest and launch Chrome again. I had to restart my quest before I was prompted. Now it's okay to launch Fortnite. This part can take a while as it downloads the full game and updates. For me, it was a little roughly over seven gigabytes. Once it finishes, you'll be asked to either log in or create a new account. If Chrome is set as your default browser, you'll be able to sign in without any issues. Make sure you pair a Bluetooth gaming controller and you're set. The Quest controllers will not work as it sees them as touch controls. I haven't tested the built-in voice features or dive too far into what else works and what doesn't, but the core game indeed does work. The main issue I've seen so far is frame rate drops. So I'll spend a little bit of time playing around with the settings to see how performance can be improved. And that's it. Now you can play Fortnite from the comfort of mixed reality. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the metaverse.